Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel, my research support. So friends, today's video will be very short and the purpose of this video is to provide you some important information about discontinuations of journals from Scopus indexing in 2020. Prior to that, I would like to discuss one example. So friends, whenever we submit research article to any journal, we just go through their websites and we see whether in indexing section they have mentioned about that particular indexing or not. Right now, I am talking about Scopus indexing. So if they have mentioned about Scopus indexing, then basically we go on submitting our manuscript in those particular journals. But few mispractices are going on. That means if the journal is recently removed from the Scopus list, then still on some journal home pages you will find that they have still written that the journal is there in the Scopus indexing. Obviously this is a fraud type of thing, but these journals are doing it for specific period. They do not remove that this journal has been removed from uh, Scopus indexing. So prior to publication to any journal to save your time, to save your money and importantly to save your valuable document, you have to be well aware of three important points. First, you have to refer journal homepage and you have to ensure that uh, the journal has mentioned about Scopus indexing. Second, you have to refer, you have to go through the indexing websites. You have to refer Scopus preview page, you have to search that particular journal name on that website and you have to see whether it is there in the Scopus or not. And third, you have to refer latest published Scopus indexing list so that you can ensure that uh, still it is there in the Scopus indexing. So now in this video, I am going to provide you a list of journal. Those have been removed from Scopus indexing in 2020. So whenever you will select a particular journal, you have to refer the journal homepage also. You have to refer those Scopus indexing site also and you have to refer this list also. If the journal is there on the home page and if the journal is there in this list, that does mean the journal is removed. Recently, the journal is removed from Scopus indexing. So you have to be very well aware of this important point. And now I have to mention about why Scopus removes journals from their databases. So there are many reasons. So I would like to mention two important results. So whenever Scopus involves any journal in their databases, Scopus basically see metrics of that particular journal. Means that particular journal have maintained a specific impact factor, maintained specific number of citations. And when the Scopus involves that particular journal in their databases, then the journal has to maintain that metrics. They have journals should maintain specific number of citations. If this matrix is downgrading, then definitely the Scopus will remove that particular journal. So metric is first important point and the second parameter is publication concern. So friends, you might have seen on different journal home pages, they have clearly mentioned about no APC, article processing charges, but still they are charging certain amount of fees, miscellaneous fee, maybe in the form of maintenance charges, etc. And definitely Scopus identifies these types of mispractices and even journal publishes research article without any revisions and this will definitely hamper the quality of those particular published papers and definitely these published papers will not get proper citations and the quality of or the metrics of these journals will be downgrading. So these two parameters are allied to each other and these are the, these are the two important reasons why the scoopers removes the journals from their databases. Now we will discuss about one practical example. This journal has specifically mentioned about Scopus indexing on its website, but this journal has been removed from Scopus indexing. So let's go for it. There are many journals, but we take example of one. There is one journal, International Journal of International Journal of Control and Automation. If you go through the website of this particular journal, then you will find that that journal have specifically mentioned about Scopus indexing. See, this is the home page. Here you will find 2019 SGR index is also given and even it is indexed by Scopus. Right? So by referring this home page, uh, many researchers will go on publishing their research articles. But you have to see, you have to just go through this list. So this is the list of discontinuations of journals from Scopus in the month in this month 2020 so here you have to search for that particular journal and in the last part you will find the name of that particular journal see international journal of control and automation as you can see here this is discontinued and the reason is also mentioned as we have already discussed it is discontinued because of the publication concern means Scopus might find some mispractices the journal is carrying out and that is the reason that 
why this is removed from scopus index team and it is removed in 2020 itself right so similarly uh, there are many journals those have been removed in 2020 so you can just take look at this list and then you will make your choice whether you have to go with that particular journal or not so friends be aware of these types of journals because if you publish your research article in these journals and if your research articles are not been included in scopus indexing or database but it is still published in that journal so you cannot consider that published document to publish in any other journal so your document you will lose your document and if you like this video do not forget to share it among your friends and colleagues and please subscribe this channel to get more research updates we'll meet in my next video bye bye